Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of our video tutorial series, and in this part, we're going to take a look exclusively at the home slider, how to set up slides, getting familiar with the caption alignments, and even taking a look at uploading videos. So let's go back to the admin panel, navigate to the home slider section located on the left-hand menu. You can see all of the slides that have been imported already, but let's create a new slide. All right, so from here, the first thing we're going to want to do is upload an image. Click on Upload, select your files, and I'm just going to select the same one that is seen as the front of the demo. Alright, so from here, we just simply can have a caption. We can add a button, and then we can also choose our slide alignment for the text. So let's just enter some stuff in. And and a link we can do steamnectar.com. Now, if we just leave everything as it is and we hit publish, go back to the front of our site, we can see that the slide is now populated correctly. Here it is. So let's look at reordering your slides really quick. Let's go back over to the add-in panel, go back into the home slider section. You can see that already just by hovering over there was an order tab. If you click on that, you're going to have a drag and drop UI where you can just take your slides and highlight this little drag and drop, click and hold, and whenever you release your slide, it will automatically just save in that order. There's no need to do anything further. So now we've moved this one to the second. You can see, we'll just leave it over there and go back to the front. And now you'll see that it is indeed the second in place. So that's really how easy it is. Let's take a look at uploading a video now. I'm going to just edit one of these slides that I already have from the dummy data. So if you slide on down to the slide video settings box, you'll notice that there is a few things for you to do. You have to upload a video for an MP4 and an OGV. This is only for self-hosted video. If you're not going to be using a self-hosted video, you can simply just paste an iframe embed from YouTube or Vimeo right here. It is recommended that you do use a self-hosted video because it works better with the parallax effects and you're gonna get just more functionality because it's easier to control something that's actually located on your site rather than embedded from somewhere else. So also, if you do go the self-hosted route, you need to make sure that you supply both of the file formats. If you don't, you're not gonna have cross-browser compatibility. So let's just add an MP4 and an OGV. Here you can see the short code for a WordPress 3.6 video is already being created for you right here with the two supplied formats. We're just missing a poster, so let's upload one real quick. This is not a poster for the video, or the correct poster for the video, but yeah, it's just for demo purposes. Make sure you upload your poster in the same size as your video as well, otherwise you're gonna get stretching of your images, which you definitely do not want. So now we can just go back up to the top and click Update. Okay, so that about wraps it up for this part in the series. I'll see you in the next section. Cheers.